outgassing may be one of the most common drivers for space applications and is critical for several reasons. So we're going to spend some time on this topic so you understand. So Ben, what exactly is outgassing and how is it measured? That's a great question, Sierra. Outgassing is a property of materials in vacuum environments to release their constituent materials. These materials or substances can include water vapor, additives, oil, or any other byproduct of the manufacturing process. When these materials are released and condense on nearby surfaces, they can be detrimental to high sensitivity optical equipment and other electronics. Now I'm gonna go put Ben to the test. Ben, can you tell us more about how outgassing is tested and measured? Yeah, so outgassing is tested using the steps in ASTM spec E595. During this test, materials are placed in a vacuum environment and held at a constant temperature of 125 degrees Celsius for a 24 hour period. After the vacuum and heat exposure, there are two primary factors that are measured. Total mass loss, referred to by the acronym TML, and collected volatile condensable materials, referred to by the acronym CVCM. Sierra, do you know what the difference between these two measurements is? Yeah, so total mass loss is the percentage of the original mass the material has lost during the 24-hour testing period. So for a material to qualify as low outgassing by NASA, it must have a TML of less than 1%, meaning it has lost less than 1% of its total weight. CVCM is the percentage of total weight of the material that has condensed on a specially designed condensing plate and must be less than 0.1% of the initial material mass. Before testing, some materials can undergo a process known as post-baking to help them pass outgassing. Basically, the materials are exposed to higher temperatures, such as 150 degrees C, in order to bake out materials before the official 24-hour test period. Examples of material that pass low outgassing requirements and are often used in space applications are conductive elastomers, thermal gels and gap pads, metal mesh gaskets, conductive heat shrink tubing and copper foil tapes, both with and without pressure sensitive adhesive. So luckily for us, there are a few resources for determining outgassing qualities of materials. Parker Comerics publishes a document of all of our materials that pass NASA low outgassing requirements, whether there are any post baking steps required and the associated NASA reference number. This database was established around 1997 and is based in and around the ASTM E1559, or the standard test method for contamination outgassing characteristics of spacecraft materials. So NASA also publishes a document of all materials that have been submitted to them for testing. It is important to note that they publish the results whether the materials pass the low outgassing metrics of 1% and 0.1% or not. So this document should be closely watched. It's also important to note that many accredited test labs conduct the ASTM E595 test individually, and there are plenty of materials that pass low outgassing requirements, but will not show up on the NASA website. The NASA website is outgassing.nasa.gov, and the code for Parker Comerics is CHO. TEC is a code for legacy technet products, which are manufactured by Comerics as well.